Hey, in this video, I'll be telling you and showing you one of the biggest keys to helping you get a job in software development that most people forget about. Um, if you're new here, my name is TJ and I'm a self-taught software engineer that teaches beginners like yourself how to code and helps them prepare for the job search. When learning to code, one of the major things that most beginners forget is that learning to code is just one part of things. The second part that's equally as important is you knowing how to explain your code to other people, your soft skills, right? Like, and look, I'll, I'll tell you, like I tell my students, when you turn in a coding project to me, to your hiring manager, whoever, right? Like, I don't know if you actually wrote that code, right? Because I wasn't there with you. The only way I and everyone else can really gauge your understanding of the code is if you're able to actually explain it and that's one of the biggest factors that the technical interview process pays attention to as well that a lot of people forget about. Because even if the answer is wrong, <laughs> right, can you explain your thought process in regards to the code? A lot of boot camp students and self-taught students, they, they, they do a good job of learning the hard technical skills of how to actually write code, but they don't really get to practice the soft skills of explaining their code and most have never done it until they get to the interview process and they have to do it for the very first time in a high pressure situation like a job interview and you can imagine that that messes up a lot of prospects. So to help my students with this, I make sure that we have these walkthroughs built into the program so they get to practice explaining their code to me and I can give them feedback on what to change and improve on. And that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video. I'm going to be showing you a clip of a mentor session I did with one of my new students as he's practicing explaining the programming logic that he wrote for the two JavaScript problems that I had him work on. So definitely make sure that you watch his explanation for both problems because this student did a phenomenal job explaining his code. He listened to my feedback from the first walkthrough that we did and you can see it pay off here in our second walkthrough. And real quick, the main thing to focus on when explaining your code is explaining the why. Right, because I can see the code you wrote, it's right here in front of me, but I don't know your thought process as to why you wrote that line of code. So when you are explaining code to people, you need to explain and summarize the why behind each line of code, and you'll see how this student does that in this video. Uh, and don't forget, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and like this video because that's how you can support my page and helping me to continue making these videos for you. And I have a lot more videos like this coming out to really help you on your coding journey so that you can, you can really understand what it takes to make this career change and what you need to focus on. And now let's go to the mentor session. Yo. Hey, DJ, how are you doing? Alan, how are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing good, bro. I haven't talked in a while. I know, I know, that's crazy. Yeah. How you been though? How's uh, JavaScript going for you? It's been going good. I've been learning a lot, um, getting through the problems and yeah, learning a lot. I've been liking learning JavaScript so far. That's dope. That's dope, man. Yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to you kind of like finishing these problems because you mm -hmm. like, do, do you feel like it's getting a bit easier to kind of think in terms of JavaScript? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And the more I've gone through these problems, like I've been learning like how JavaScript works and like how to use these methods to um, get what you want. Perfect, um, perfect. Yeah, so reviews. something you should do every now and then is to kind of like review the older problems. If you aren't already do doing that, just to try to like do them again now yeah. that you that you know more, you know, but okay. still give yourself practice and like thinking through like algorithms and just code in general, you get. So I, should, I should like try and do the problems over again or should I like... Do yeah, like yeah. And things like that. Yeah, huh? Like flashcards, would, would those help in learning JavaScript? No, 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 no. Not yeah. like f flashcards. I think, you, so basically, you should try to do the problems again without looking at the answer. Okay. Right, just like read the actual prompt and, you know, try to like think through how to actually solve it and try to get as far as you can. And if you get yeah. if you get get stuck, whatever, look at the answer and then understand why you got stuck. OK, yeah. And that's, then that's scrap it 
and try to solve it again from the top. You know, like that'll really help you to kind of really ingrain how to think in JavaScript in your mind, okay. which will make it a lot easier when you're in, in future modules and trying mm -hmm. to think of other problems, okay? Okay. Like, it, it's it's like uh, math class, you know, like yeah. you like you you have to review and not just review, but you have to redo practice problems. Mm -hmm. To really so, like get it and exactly okay. it's just reps you know like reps yeah. but don't don't like try to memorize how to solve it because remember like this is like problem solving right so mm -hmm. the goal is to understand why you're doing it this way okay you know exactly. and while you're practicing also practice talking out loud like explaining what the code is doing too all right yeah well do. all right man speaking of talking a lot are you ready for this uh review yeah, yeah, I got my array problems out. Awesome. Ready. Let's let's start with the first one. Okay, let me share share the desktop. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay, good. So yeah, for the first array problem, we have to write a JavaScript function that takes in two parameters. First parameter being the array, and the second being the number. And we, what we wanted to do is we want to return the number of elements that we specify in the number parameter, right? So the first thing I did was I made an array, gift array, just with a bunch of baby items that someone would get. Um, and then what I did was I made a variable get items, which was the, which was the function that took in the first parameter, which was any array, and the second parameter being a number. And then after that, what I wanted to do is remove any potential errors that would come to someone putting it an input. This is this is this is this is not fair, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? You're, you're too good at this, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm sitting here like, oh, this this guy's doing this stuff perfectly. Like, what's <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Am I really? <laughs> yeah, man. You 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 like you sound really comfortable. Yeah. Like, do you like feel that though? Yeah, yeah, like using the comments and like taking it step by step. That's what really like helped me, help me like break down the problem and like getting it correct. Like especially after our first session, yeah. where like you kind of helped me like work on explaining the code and what each step is like in, in the code. Like that really helped yeah. me as well. Yeah, man. Like that. Like you doing exactly what you just said and did will mm -hmm. translate into the confidence that you feel right now, you know, okay. because that, that like confidence is coming from your understanding. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, man, good, dude, I, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're done here. Uh, we, uh, let, let me see. Uh, well, yeah, let me see how you did uh, problem four. Okay. The fourth one, which one was that? Oh, remove, remove the duplicate items. Yeah. So yeah. This one, you just want to remove any duplicates in the array. So I just made this array of my numbers and had like a couple of duplicates numbers, like two, two, seven, seven. Yeah. And then I just made the function called remove duplicates and put the an, an array as a parameter. And then in the first, what I want, when I, after I made the function, I made a variable called unique values array, which is just the array where we're going to store only the numbers that without any duplicates and just made an empty array. That's good. These two square brackets. And then I made a loop iterating through the entire array with array.length going one by one, I plus plus. And then here, what I did was I made an if statement where it said in this unique values array, if the array doesn't include the number that it's iterating to, then we want to push that that um element to the array. So awesome. that was the exclamation mark that um showed. If it didn't include the the element, then push the next array and then continue on. Makes sense. And then after that, return the array. And then yeah, I console logged in. <laughs> um, good. good job, man, dude. You you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm impressed. I, I've I've like actually never clapped for anybody on the call. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so good, good wow. job, man. Uh, because you. like you are explaining it in like a way where you are not just 
reading line by line, but you're like explaining the actual reasoning behind why you wrote that line of code. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's I do. I I think a fun challenge for you would be to try to explain a couple of these problems to your brother and see I if I understand it. All. Yeah, okay. and see if he can at least follow along in the code without yeah. having ever done JavaScript code at all. Okay. Uh, yeah. And that would like show like the under like that I wrote it correctly. Hmm? That would show that like I made it like understandable to someone else, even if they're not a programmer. Yeah, I mean that that'll like I mean I I think it'll help you to so one I think that he's going to be able to follow along. Okay. And like I think that I that is gonna be a testament to how well you actually understand it and also he's going to have questions yeah right like he's going to have questions and definitely encourage him to ask questions about well what does this do how does this work you get what i'm saying yeah yeah, that's now challenge you to explain those things as well yeah that's something that i actually noticed like really helps me learn things like when i'm explaining Mm -hmm. things to someone else and like teaching them certain concepts that helps me cement the knowledge of like what it actually does you know exactly so, yeah, definitely exactly. Gonna do that. good good yeah. job man like i'm not even gonna uh press you anymore because <laughs> i had all these problems i was like all right i'm gonna hit him with this this and that but <laughs> as, as soon as you started that first one i was like is this guy been watching my my videos and they yeah, i've been on them what's, what's going on bro i've been on them i've been studying but that, thank that's you good man. That's good, man. Uh, I do. I think JavaScript is just going to keep getting fun and funner for you as you touch on different like aspects of it and, and you start using it to build different things. Because uh, right now you are just essentially writing algorithms. Mm-hmm. You get like that's what you are writing right now, you know. But moving on, you are going to start writing JavaScript that like processes like application logic like you know you are going to start building applications pretty soon right so uh yeah like module three is just these practice problems yeah and module four is nothing but apps that you're going to have any tutorials there's no reading ain't no boring videos with me in it (laughs) it's just like apps it's just it's a but it's literally going to be like me writing just like one to two like sentences saying hey Build me an app that does this and that. Okay, and I'm just gonna have to like think through that, build the HTML, CSS, and integrate the JavaScript into it. So I I think that you're gonna be very impressed by how far you have come. You know, yeah, so, I can't wait till I get to that module. And yeah, man. Together, you, I mean, you do good. You do good. Yeah, okay. dude. That's that's it. I, I don't <laughs> I don't have anything else. Um, do you have any like questions for 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 me? Um, no, nah, honestly, I'm I'm just been working on the object problems so far, going through them. But yeah. once once I get those done, then we'll schedule our next session. Hopefully, I'm still still good with things. But yeah, everything's good so far for a raise. All right, good, good. Um, after the object stuff, I think. Uh, oh, so you know how you mentioned flashcards? Yeah. The, the place where flashcards would be very valuable for you, uh, do, do you remember early on in module three where I, there were different lessons where I was like array methods, yeah, methods. methods, you know, I basically listed out a bunch of methods that you need to know. Yeah, That's the type yeah, of stuff right. that you want to have on flashcards. Because okay. then, you know, when, when she really starts to like memorize that stuff and when you're thinking of how to solve something, you're able to quickly yeah, refer to what method you can use. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. The methods and like, yeah, methods are main those main things, especially with the DOM problems. Like, there's a lot of different. Oh yeah, for sure. That I want to get in there. <laughs> I mean, and I mean, so re- re- really, the in terms of the DOM stuff, mm-hmm. the main things that like, you are going to be doing, kind of like the main thing, almost like the same times, you are going to be grabbing. <laughs> an element from the dom either by the id right like document get element by id right or class name but most likely more so than not you're probably going to be using id so just make sure that you fully get that and then uh you are likely going to be using javascript to just basically like um 
update like the values you, you know how how you yeah, do yeah. that in their html uh, that in, in, inner text etc yeah. you know the, the, those kind of things so okay. it, it's just you know as you get more practice and experience you kind of realize that even though you, you remember when you did the tutorial it covered a whole lot of stuff right yeah but now you're doing these problems and you're kind of realizing like the stuff that you tend to use the most okay. right okay yeah, yeah yeah and the more i do it then i realize what what i need to use the most exactly exactly so good job man uh keep going mm -hmm. keep practicing uh definitely give give it a try to try to explain this to your uh brother okay yeah i'm gonna try that i'll let you know how it goes yo yeah please do yeah. email me about that man <laughs> he's probably gonna be like bro i don't know what you're talking about but i kind of do <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, so good. all right man yeah we'll we'll talk uh later okay yeah man thank you again take all care right, all right, Tyler. Bye.